Good morning, YouTube. This morning, we're going to talk about some shotguns. Now, the gameplay here is, uh, what's the name of this map? Freight, I think. Freight. It's the container map, and I'm using the FP6. And I really, really like this shotgun. Shotguns are... They're a viable option in this game. I think that you can play with some shotguns and ghosts and not be completely undone or completely lesser than everybody else, but they're not. They're not really as powerful as previous, as well, as Black Ops 2. They're not as strong as Black Ops 2. Every gun in Black Ops 2 was, was a contender. Uh, except for that stupid rotate the barrel one, which seems kind of to be back um, in in Ghost that M1216, except that they seem uh, to be calling it something different. Was the MTS255? You rotate the barrel. It's it's kind of the same. It's kind of it's actually kind of different. It looks uh, more like a, a gun coming out of Borderlands than than anything else. It looks like a pistol. Uh, the actual receiver looks a lot like a pistol and I haven't done much with that in particular shotgun uh, it, it seems to be kind of strong but it's not nearly as strong uh, with range over distance as the FP6 which is my favorite the Bulldog has a really high rate of fire I typically do not like these shotguns it means it's not going to be the strongest but what it does is it lets you get off a bunch of shots, and that's that's not even something I'm concerned with at this point. Not getting off a bunch of shots because your time to kill has to be very low to be a contender in Call of Duty Ghosts. The TAC-12. Now this gun is weird because it says the smart choke is a tighter spread when you aim down sight. I, I need a lot of hip fire out of my shotguns, and the FP6 provides that. The FP6 also tightens down its it, it tightens down its uh its pattern its spread whenever you ADS. So the Tech 12 does not have the market cornered on tightening down its its spread. The FP6 also tightens down its spread. So you're gonna want a quick scope with these shotguns or hip fire if you're close enough. Don't be too concerned about it. Now the FP6, what's supposed to make it a drawback from the other shotguns is that you have to pump that cylinder. You had to pump for attack 12 as well. I, I don't like the spam shot shotgun style like the Bulldog. Uh, it's it, to me, it's like it, shotguns are it should be one shot, one kill. And one of the things that that uh, I was talking about last night with the people that I was playing with, the the clan that I'm in is that when you shoot somebody with this shotgun they fly like look at this guy he just flies over to the side people are moving like five feet i should have reloaded right here people are moving like five feet whenever you're blasting them it's in the side and it's really good to see that they at least got the animation right for whenever somebody gets smashed with a shotgun doing doing somebody in with a shotgun is is a, a dirty damage uh, a, a, a dirty deed and does a lot of damage to them. The shotgun pellets themselves spread out a little bit and they carry they carry you backwards like these guys look it's just, you don't just fall down you don't just like trip and fall you don't just lose your balance and and lose the ability to stand up these guns actually knock you over pick you up off your feet send you to the side and that's really kind of cool to see so the shotguns in this game are powerful enough to be used as contenders. You're going to have to play with them the, the right way. You're going to have to, you know, go cover to cover, small area to small area. You can get brazen like I am at the end of this game and just run right across the middle of the map. I should have had that kill. Uh, right across the middle of the map. And uh, it's not a good idea. But you want to make sure that you have the class setup that allows you to do as much running as you want to see i don't know what i think this guy was mad that the other guy was afk but he should have understood that you know i was i was nearby um you want to make sure that you have your class set up the way that 
that you should so you're gonna either do your increased hip fire accuracy which I, it, I think that's kind of for a shotgun class I think it's a little less of a setup I, I would rather either zoom in or deal with some other speed perk but you know to each his own whichever you'd like um, the quick draw works really well because you can you can do that quick scope style action and and zoom in marathon is going to give you a huge advantage in this game because you can just run for a long ways there's not much of a penalty for mobility with the shotguns um and it seems that all of them have the same type of or uh, the same mobility issues or, or lack of issues so you're going to be extremely fast when using these shotguns come on out um it, it's they're just a lot of fun to use this seems to be like the only way that you can get your running gun style back and still be competitive what was he doing get up still be competitive with everybody else that's uh that's running around with the overpowered assault rifles so get your shotgun out see how you like it the one with the burnt house in the middle that's a really good map to use a shotgun on uh, just consider where you are make smart decisions stay out of open lines of fire so play with the FP6. Thanks. Have a great day.